Hello, hello, dear Virgo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love and light to you all here. We're here with your very personal new moon in Aries reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and connecting here. Let's see what's coming through for you during this time of new beginnings, setting the intention. Let's see, Virgo, how many, I'm hearing uh, people in the audience raise their hand. I'm hearing when you, uh, I'm hearing shout out your values. I'm hearing system as well. With the magician up top, your spread. Let's just come out. Sun of Cups. Mirroring the Judgment card and the Ace of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune leading you out with the Death card here. Death card is up right. Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Okay, let's get a few more cards. The Ace of Swords at the base of the Magician. Someone here is making an announcement. The Sun at the base of the Hierophant. The Ace of Swords connected to the Sun. We are, I'm hearing, we're, we're walking, we're walking towards, I'm hearing, and, and um, I'm hearing, uh, and I'm hearing uh, without, I'm hearing any clothes on. I'm hearing here, related to the Six of Cups and the Love Lovers, the devil and the two of wands i'm seeing that you're like taking something uh i'm hearing like very seriously to say it in that way and what does it mean to take something seriously it's like is it a matter of how far we run to reach it i'm hearing specifically for an interview or is it how fast i'm hearing our pace is when we hit the ground um i'm hearing running interesting and i'm seeing you kind of like i'm hearing it has to do with your passion i'm hearing it has to do also with the sense of community like how much do i feel for the space in which i feel i am to evolve uh i'm hearing eventually i'm hearing it specifically in that way for a number of you and there is something that again i'm here you're taking very seriously like this has i'm hearing a future to it i'm hearing also a feeling space to it that i want to uh i'm hearing i want to work on and someone's very willing to put in a certain uh I'm hearing level and amount of uh I'm hearing uh, TLC, I'm hearing as well, I'm hearing like, some tender love and care to get things to the next, uh, I'm hearing also, uh, I'm hearing boardroom, I'm hearing for a number of you, bedroom conversation. Now the Son of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles, if you're in a partnership here, if you're in a partnership specifically with a Leo, I'm hearing a Libra as well, for a number of you, so not for everyone, okay, always take it as you will, and hope, who am I to say, right, always take it as you will, dear Virgo, or whoever else may be watching, and we are all one, right? We all got every sign in our chart, but there is a focus on specifically what someone is uh, kind of, um, I'm hearing, committed to. Let's put it like that. And um, <clears throat> if you're with a Virgo, and you can very easily, I'm hearing, kind of tell, okay, are they uh, talking to me when they're talking to me? Like, are they are they focused? I'm hearing, are they attentive? Are they giving solutions? I'm hearing as well. And this can you know, always take it as you will, right? What does that mean? Does it mean that they're interested or not? Not always, right? Okay, there are some people, I'm hearing, gaslighting um, in whatever way that might be for a number of you, but or in whatever way that that could be a concept of or a topic of discussion but at the end of the day and always hopefully hopefully and not necessarily in any particular way um at the end of the day it's like what is what has become kind of like uh i'm hearing a habit even as well and i'm seeing you to say it in this way if you're with a virgo or let's say you're with uh an, uh, if you're a Virgo and you're with someone, you're kind of wondering, are they into me? Like, are they uh, working on this actually? And it, and it could be too, okay. Uh, it's like, I'm seeing that he, the way in which, and again, this is not for everyone. I'm, I'm almost feeling hesitant to even mention it, but um, for a number of you, I'm hearing the letter S, S related to this Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles that leads out, the Judgment card that remains with this Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. It's almost like, I'm seeing for an interview that there has been an evolution. I'm hearing of habits that has made that has kind of made clear someone's uh, attitude towards a certain um, experience, and um, it could be related to actual investment. And uh, for a number of you, I'm seeing that this could be a space in which you you might be kind of analyzed. Interesting, where it's like, how much work are they putting into this? But it could be a question, but it can also be um, a confirmation, like someone is clear on that, or let's say, but let's backtrack, um, a space of, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing understanding that someone, um, may still be gauging though. I am hearing it like that. The hermit is in reverse. Let's pull a few more cards and see what comes through. You got the 10 of cups mirroring this nine of pentacles and mother of swords. For a number of you, uh, I'm hearing you're letting someone in on a secret. I'm not sure what that might be alluding to, but it could have to do with a certain, um, I'm hearing rags to riches story. Like, 
I'm hearing no one knew this, but I was not Leona Lewis when I started out in this, in this industry. I'm hearing that from a number of you, but <laughs> um, okay, I forgot. <laughs> I'm seeing here for a number of you that it could also be related to certain resources. I'm hearing divine. I'm hearing divine religion, magician, six of swords upright. I'm hearing related to a certain. Uh, I'm hearing mid. I'm hearing mission. I'm hearing magistrate. The nine of cups. Um, perpendicular to the Six of Swords. Let's get a few more cards and see what comes through. You got the Seven of Cups. For whenever you could be dealing with Scorpio or someone who who loves to undress uh, the 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 decision. Like someone made a decision and they like they test them on it. It could also be a certain. Uh, in, I'm hearing a space of investigation that someone might be undergoing. Um, but I'm hearing at the end of the day, we want things to evolve. Okay. I'm seeing almost like this could even be like someone's mentor. Like it works in their favor for someone to almost like challenge their sort of, uh, their, uh, I'm hearing their degree. Interesting. And I'm seeing for a number of you, this is not something that you like called someone up for to do, but it's, uh, almost like a, a, for a number of you, like a very public space or that you feel will be kind of like will hold some, some level of criticism, but, um, I'm seeing that it's a, it's a space that you feel is like, okay, like if I'm the president, I'm hearing also of this company and I present something, I'm hearing of also, I'm hearing parents, okay? It's like, inevitably, I'm hearing it's gonna be more than just the parents who, who either, I'm hearing strike out or cheer. It's like, it's also the children, it's also the, the chancellors, I'm hearing as well, of the, of the company, I'm hearing event. Like, there's some space in which you feel, um, there is, a, there, there is um, I mean, there's a, there are a whole lot of different, uh, and what is considered different, right? But um, a whole lot of uh, decisions as well that are made uh, in in dance, I'm hearing, and not only song, interesting. It's like, I'm hearing the steamboat of the engine needs to be, uh, I'm hearing a stationary for a, few fo for a few moments for us to almost like take its meter. Like I'm seeing someone testing the, the steam that's coming out of like a boat. Interesting, I'm not sure you know, what that might be alluding to. Um, whoa, one second, I'm hearing Capricorn strong of the son of Pentacles and the daughter of Pentacles. One second, Virgo, let's tune in here. I'm hearing linking, linking up here with the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords and the Son of Pentacles. One second, let me tune in, Virgo. I'm hearing Lost Island with the Son of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, uh, let's backtrack, Virgo. I'm seeing that someone here is expected, I'm hearing, to take on a very important decision. Someone here perhaps also... Um, I'm seeing like there is a space again in which you feel you are to present in a certain way your values and inevitably it's like okay value is, uh, is relative i'm hearing and those that have a i'm hearing a word to say about the world that i work in i'm hearing will have a word to say about my perception of it interesting i'm hearing also my perspective of where it is that i dance off to next i'm seeing that this is a personal decision that you're making public i'm hearing that as well for a number of you and um I'm seeing that there is a recognition that we can't, uh, I'm hearing accumulate everyone's uh, stories in, in one book. I'm hearing also in one shot, interesting, like in one kind of uh, conversation. But um, again, I'm hearing this could be related to research, but it's like, okay, I'm hearing, at the end of the day, I'm hearing, I realize that I must, uh, I'm hearing leave my uh, vest, uh, I'm hearing um, properly, uh, I'm hearing adjusted so that I can have, uh, I'm hearing my, uh, my, my turn here. I'm hearing to talk. I'm not sure what that might be alluding to, but let's backtrack. Virgo, I'm seeing this has to do, I'm hearing Scorpio. This has to do perhaps with a number of you. I'm hearing though, even beyond that, um, I'm hearing, let's let it go. I'm hearing specifically, let's let that go. That there, um, Virgo, I'm hearing, let's, uh, I'm hearing, let's let it go. Let's let that go. There is a focus on what um, we feel we are expected, I'm hearing as well, like with a fool to carry out right over this hanged man. And it might be a certain type, it might be a space in which you feel, I need to stand for this. Like, I, this is my, I'm hearing, this is my, this is my punchline. I'm hearing of, 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 uh, of what I feel passionate about, not just because I'm hearing I get excited when I think about it, of, of saying it or doing it, but 
or pursuing it, but because I feel that I'm hearing no one else uh, will, will I'm hearing live for this or say this, I'm hearing or carry this space out, um, if I uh, shy away from it, and I'm not saying that, and I'm not seeing that, let's say, necessarily that that would be the alternative, but like um, the feeling of, of, of ex explaining, I'm hearing why this means something to you, to say it in this way, I'm hearing there is a space of revolution, dear Virgo, that um, I'm hearing you feel, um, I'm hearing begins when I'm hearing you, uh, I'm hearing when you become, I'm hearing the line that you write interesting. And there could be a space of, in a sort of resonance that you feel you would like to, uh, I'm hearing also, um, learn a little more about interesting. I'm hearing though also, um, uh, I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing lean towards, uh, um, I'm hearing value system again here with the temperance card and the eight of swords, like a space in which you feel you would like to kind of, uh, that you'd like to address a little more clearly. I'm hearing also strongly in whatever way that might be meant for a number of you again, perhaps in a very public way. Thank you so much again for tuning in, Virgo. Love and light. Enjoy this period. And I highly recommend to check out your Venus sign. I'm going to be, before that, I'm going to be stepping into um, the extended part of this reading. So if you'd like to see how the energies will culminate towards the full moon, towards the end uh, of the month in April, then feel free um, to check out the moon cycle reading again that will be leading into the full moon of the month so we're moving through the tail end of this uh, moon cycle um we're moving through this moon cycle all right thank you so much for tuning in love and light enjoy this period i highly recommend it as well to check out your venus sign as well as your rising ascendant or moon sign and uh, thank you so much again for tuning in for your dear support and your patience with this reading virgo i don't see anything else that wants to come through um okay now Again, okay, um, this is speaking to the new moon in Aries, right? So there could be a focus on, let's say, the time of uh, the time around the 5th of April. Um, again, a few days give, a few days take, uh, before or after exactly that time. Energy is fluid, of course, right? So you may find that the, re the energies resonate even uh, right, a few weeks prior, a few weeks after. Um, and you could feel that something is growing, right? All right, nonetheless... Um, uh, dear Virgo, the, um, again, this is, this is, this reading is speaking to the new moon in Aries period. Now, the new moon speaks into beginnings, right? The initiation of sort of the intention space of what we see ourselves manifesting, what we'd like to really set the intention for, to bring into form. And in whatever way that might be meant for a number of you, always take it as you will. Um, but that, right, sort of being the lowest point of energy flow in the moon cycle leading up to the full moon and in every moon cycle where you've got in the new moon and the full moon and right, who's to say that there is like only these two stages of the moon cycle but in terms of what we are kind of acknowledging right here right now there is the new moon and the full moon um stages and um so that speaking to let's say the lowest point of energy flow yet again leading up into the f the highest peak of energy flow in, in the moon cycle so to say it in this way if you'd like to follow how the energies will move through this particular moon cycle from the new moon again the lowest peak of energy flow to the highest point of energy flow in this particular uh stage of the moon cycle then feel free um again from low to high new to full half to full okay i'm like that kind of like emphasize this i'm not sure what that might be alluding to for a number of you but it could be a space in which you feel that you would like to kind of uh, also I mean, take more seriously and uh, in whatever way that might be meant for you it could be related to it could be a focus on the moon itself for a number of you and um okay i'm hearing children childhood yet again but uh nonetheless dear cancer um aha you're you're ruled a uh, virgo virgo cancer cancer once it comes through here all right uh yet again there could be a focus on what you feel like you are let's say intimately involved in the process of creating and so to focus let's say on the beginning stage of this moon cycle the new moon the full moon speaks to what let's say um is uh, almost like uh um um brought out from that space of intention that's set and there are so many factors that could be at play so always take it as you will but um there uh is the completion of cycle that's alluded to by way of the connection between the new moon and the full moon so if that's a space that you are let's say interested in taking a deeper dive with uh then feel free to follow the full moon cycle via the link in the bio description box below speaking to manifestation yet again love and light enjoy this period and thank you all so much again for your dear support love and light to you on this journey forward and i'll see you soon bye